Hello and welcome to Block Insider, where you can learn all about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. We're here to help you understand the exciting world of crypto and to provide you with insights into the technical aspects of blockchain. Today's video is about block hash verification and how to calculate the block hash in Bitcoin. The concept of block hash verification is crucial to the security and integrity of the Bitcoin blockchain. As you may already know, the blockchain is a decentralized ledger that records all transactions made with Bitcoin. Each block in the blockchain contains a hash, which is a unique identifier for that block. Verifying the block hash ensures that the data within the block has not been tampered with and is valid. In this video, we will explain how block hash verification works and walk you through the process of calculating a block hash in Bitcoin. So, Let's dive in and learn more about this important topic. Calculating the block hash can be done by three steps. Format input values correctly. Concatenate values and convert to little endian. Apply SHA-256 twice and convert to little endian. As an example, in this video, we will be calculating the block hash of the 200,000th block in the Bitcoin blockchain. Before we can begin, there are a few pieces of data we will need to gather. Six parameters go into the calculation. 1. Version, which is the used protocol version. 2. Hash prev block, which is the hash of the previous block. 3. Merkle root, which is the hash of all transactions in the block. 4. Time, which is the time when the block was mined. 5. Bits, which is the difficulty parameter. 6. Nons, a 32-bit number which used to guess the correct block hash. You can find this data on any Bitcoin block explorer, for example, on explorer.btc.com. This is our input data for the calculation. Now we can start with the first step to format the input values correctly. Usually the values are given as decimal or big endian hexadecimal. For the calculation of the Bitcoin block hash, these values must be converted to little endian hexadecimal. Little endian refers to the byte order in which the least significant byte is stored first. Don't worry, there are many online tools available for converting between big and little endian, as well as decimal and hexadecimal, making the process quick and easy. It's also important to note that when dealing with the timestamp data, we need to convert it to a Unix timestamp and set the correct time zone. We'll link all the tools and converters you need under this video. After we formatted the input values correctly, they should be looking like this. Now we can move on to step two, concatenate the input values and convert it into little endian. Concatenation refers to the process of combining two or more values into a single value. When concatenating values, they are merged end to end, with no separator or spaces between them. The order of concatenation should be as follows. After concatenation and formatting into little endian, our values will look like this. Perfect, we're almost done. The third step of the process involves applying the SHA-256 algorithm twice to the concatenated data and then converting the resulting hash into little endian format. There are also many online tools available for calculating the SHA-256 hash of data, making it easy to perform this step of the process. After applying the SHA-256 algorithm for the first time, this should be your output value. Now we do it again, which should result in this value. Finally, all we have to do is format the hash into little endian. This is it. We successfully calculated the block hash for the 200,000th block of the Bitcoin blockchain. Feel free to try it on your own on a different block by using our tutorial and leave a comment on how you did. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest content. And if you have any suggestions or questions, leave a comment below. Until next time, take care.